Today we're working on a 2010 KLX 110 L model. So we're changing the oil and the oil filter. First thing you want to do is start it up, let it warm up for about five minutes, and then uh, the oil will be warm, kind of loose, free flowing. So we'll get it started, and then we'll come back on. All right, so we let that warm up for about five minutes. Now we'll let it uh, cool down for a minute or two. Okay, for sake of filming, I put it up on these blocks. Obviously not something that I recommend you do. We're gonna be taking off the screen guard at first. Okay, so you have these two. And you have one on the opposite side here. All right, and then you have two in the back there, and those are uh, 12 millimeter. Okay, so there you have it. Um, I thought these were attached to the uh, frame, but they're not, so they just stay in there. So that's that part. Now we can actually start draining the oil. Okay, so before you open or the oil fill cover, you want to just clean it off with a rag. Obviously, you don't want any dirt or dust to get down there. And you want to open that a little bit. And again, you got your 17 millimeter. So while it's draining, you want to inspect your uh, your plug. This one doesn't have a magnetic pickup, so you're gonna let that drain for a little bit. And I mean, while it's draining, you know, some people like to tip it up, tip it back and forth. Since I warmed it up, I mean, it's gonna pretty much flow all the way out. Now the oil filter is right here. It's on the front of the motor, so that's why we pulled that screen off. And uh, I'm gonna pull you around to the other side so you can see it a little better. Okay, so here's the oil filter cover. And again, it's an eight millimeter. And if you're not changing the uh, filter, then you don't have to take this off. All right, we'll put the uh, drain plug back in. That's about all we're getting out of this. And you wanna make sure your finger's clean. You just wanna take a little bit of the old oil, put it on the threads, and then put it on the uh, Washer. I'm just going to tighten that by hand for now. Obviously, you uh, need to remember to tighten that. Okay, so we're going to put the new oil filter in. Like I said, you want the gasket to go towards the front. And again, I'm just going to dip my finger in, kind of smear some oil on the gasket on the front of this. And that'll just sit there. You can uh, clean this out. And ideally you want to replace this gasket. I don't have the uh, new one. Alright, so that's all set. And before we forget, we want to tighten this drain plug. Okay, so now we can start filling it up with oil. Let's see if I can do it without it. Show you. So we know it's going to take at least one quart. Um, the manual says if you just change the engine oil, it's one quart. And if you change the oil and the filter, it's 1.2 quarts. So I'm going to go here. Okay, so we'll put the screen guard on while that's filling up. We'll start with the back two bolts. And then, um, I forgot to mention, but there's one long and one short. So the short goes on the oil fill side. And obviously the long one goes on the other side. 
So again, eight millimeter for that, 12 millimeter for the back, and then a uh, 17 millimeter for the drain plug. All right, so we got one quart in there. And we're gonna see what one quart looks like before we add any more. We should need a little more. We're gonna let this sit for a little bit. Okay, so here's the oil window. And it's pretty much right by the rear brake for reference. And so we've let the oil sit for a little bit. Um, it's still cold, but we just wanna make sure before we start it that there's oil in there. So you're gonna to wanna to tip it up and hold it as vertical as you can. And you can see the oil's coming in there. And you don't want to high rev it, you just want to let it idle for a little bit. So you're going to let it run for a few minutes and then uh, let it cool down. This is uh, basically just getting the oil throughout the engine in the oil filter. And we're also going to be inspected for any leaks. We don't see any yet, so that's very good. So we let it cool down after our initial startup. You can see it's a little bit low. So unfortunately, I do have to open that other oil quart and put a little more in there. So I'll add a little more and then we'll retest it. Okay, so you can see the oil. So that's where I like to have it. And we know we're at a good level, so we're good to go. any high revs you just want to start it up Woohoo! not in gear <laughs> 